My name is Atticus. Uh, I live in Chicago. I'm a film major at Columbia College. I went through a very, very, very long time where I couldn't accept myself. It was more personal and internal, and it wasn't until I started like vocalizing things and just started talking to like my best friend and just people around me that I started you know, and reading about it and just finding communities online who accepted me, and I didn't feel so alone anymore. Finding communities online, it's great because it's just cool to like have people like at my fingertips that I could just talk to. If I ever had any questions about it, I just would reach out to somebody online, so it was really great to have people around me. No, my parents are not supportive. They, com they basically completely rejected it. They kind of deny that it ever happened and just treat me as if I had never said anything. My older sister has been really great about it. She accepts me. She doesn't really understand much of it, but she you know, accepts that I am who I am, so. Compared to where I was like a year ago, like before I transitioned, uh, I've gotten a lot better like like mentally where like, I'll, there will still be days where I'll wake up and like I don't even want to like take a shower just cause like I don't, I like don't want to look at myself. But I mean, everyone's got those days. My best friend in the whole world, Adrian, um, he came out to me as trans when we were like in eighth grade, so that was the first time I had ever heard the word transgender, and I had no idea what it was. And like even like at the time, I was just like, like what the hell is going on? Like I have no idea what this is. And and then just over time, I had questions. I gradually grew to accept it, and then he accepted me with open arms. So um, we're tighter than we've ever been. Like we we call ourselves true trans soul brothers. Like, when I came out, my mom was just like, no, this is just a phase you're going through. You're just a tomboy. You're, like, dressing like a boy. That's it. I mean, it is what it is at this point. Like, I can say something and get, like, backlash and anger because that's just kind of how they treat it. If I bring it up, they're going to get angry about it. So it's just I kind of have to just deal. I spend a lot of the time outside of the house, so I don't have to be around that negative environment. I think it's just going to get to the point where I'm going to move out, and we're probably just going to gradually lose contact, which, I mean, it is what it is, so... Your family is what you make it. Like, just because you're related by blood doesn't really mean anything. Like, a family supports you, a family is there for you, and if they're not gonna do that, then you don't need them. Even before coming out, like, I would just have, like, I used to work in a grocery store, and sometimes, like, I would feel, like, dysphoric and flip my name tag over, and so people would read me as male when they came in my line, and they'd be like, oh, have a nice day, sir. I'd be like, okay, like, that's that's pretty cool. I go to Howard Brown Health Center in Chicago, and they offered me a sliding scale because I don't have that many funds. I can't afford a ton of stuff. So they've been really great. I only pay, like, $20 for my checkups and, like, blood tests and all that, and they've, yeah, they're, they're pretty great. Changes happened pretty fast. Like, my voice started dropping, like, only, like, a month in, and it's just been getting deeper ever since and I look more male and I'm kind of starting to see the person that I want to be in the mirror which is a pretty awesome feeling.